Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Do 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 do. Uh, last time... It would appear Emma wants out of my room. Probably to be fed as well. Give me just a minute, Cassie. Yep. Alright guys, welcome to Let's Play Danganronpa. Today we're gonna hang out with people! And we're gonna... You know, fuck the donut girl, hopefully. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? You can talk Enough. again, bitch. Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk again? <laughs> I don't recall giving you permission. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. I just thought, I mean, since the day had passed, it had maybe reached yet. Huh? Huh? Sorry, please don't hate me, but whatever my punishment is, shall accept it. I'll hang a sign from my neck to get bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. Ugh. Ew. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can oh stuff my, my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. Uh, it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? This is not cool. This is worth being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um, what? Maybe no. she's mad about what happened yesterday, and she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others what Kyo why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just Very to keep quiet. Strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, you know? so... Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? Couldn't she just keep it unlocked and the key doesn't matter? Huh? Are you looking for Miss Kiriiri? Well, the door was locked before, so she couldn't get in the room to keep it unlocked. I mean, well, to be fair, she was keeping it open for all the alter ego stuff. Yeah, but we have no reason to believe that's still unlocked. Oh, are you looking for Miss Kiriiri? Why wouldn't she, though? Because to... alter ego just died. Yeah, but... It'd been time. So we don't really know. We're gonna assume that the door's locked, and that's it. Hey! Hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering miss, where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Well, it's hard to say. What? Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hmm, yeah. don't you hate it when somebody asks what their favorite movie is, and they say some indie bullcrap? I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he kinky subjects like that. Thank goodness, it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Could she have been right about all that? Hey. So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hm. We have no idea. What the heck? And even if we did, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious. Mm, I see. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean that Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. Where the heck could she have um... gone? Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can you not worry, know where she is? Yeah, totally. So huh? strange. If you keep fucking taking my lines, bitch, I'm gonna neuter you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? 
We spent the rest of the breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. <sighs> breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Free time, finally. Actually, can I just... It's probably the fifth floor, right? Most likely. Yeah. So, the closest part is right here. Wow. The sports addict is in the dojo? Who would have seen that one coming? The sports addict who dated a, you know, martial artist? That's weird. Okay. Even if it's hard, you have to endure it. Endure, endure. Whoa. That's what she said. That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiru. Hmm. But every person's endurance has a limit. Hmm. Should I talk to Hina for a while? Yeah. yeah. I think we need a change of pace. And when I think change of pace, you got it. I can only think of 50 laps in the pool. That's a change? Change my pace with Hina in the pool. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing we changed. Huh. Uh, Hina and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Hina a present? Yes, definitely. What would you like to give her? Numero 610. So. Okay, one, two, three, four. Birthday? 16. One more. There you go. Apparently that's a loved gift for Hina, Junko, and Sayaka, and a liked gift of Sakura. That's fair. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you. Oh, that's yours. Okay, fucking weird. Bitch, I thought we would say something. Bitch, what the fuck? Stop. Er, I mean... We, we've read this before. <laughs> I'll eat you. <laughs> that's lewd. Uh, hey, Makoto? I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, and squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. How early did you wake up to have that much time? Well, that would explain it. Tired. So tired. I want yeah, I knew something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, and then deep fry them. Have you ever played Persona 5? That's what he is looking for. Oh. Churros! No, Donuts. Churros! I want some churros. Churros. I do, too. But, yeah. Fucking Donuts. Hina, have some better taste. I do love me some churros. Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? <laughs> really, she could have literally not told me what she wanted at all, like no descriptor, and I would have guessed donuts. Um, don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. Stop, I'm hungry. Same. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No, who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Somebody who's dumb. Somebody who doesn't Somebody like who's sweet. Somebody who's very, very dumb. Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First, the sweetness floods your mouth and the soft dough cushions you. Next, you get that hint of egg and butter, right? This is making me want the fucking apple cider donuts from the farmer's market Cass nearby. Cassie. What? The apple apple fritters from the nearby place. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Your whole <laughs> body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. And then you get rid of its hole. Then you fill its hole with your creaminess. When people talk about the donut effect, if that's what they're talking about. I've never heard that before. That's absolutely not true. I can't take it anymore! Go have some donuts, bitch. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here! Both my mouth your... and my pussy! I can see your mouth and it's not drooling, so stares down. 
<laughs> Get out of my way, Makoto, or I've got an uppercut with your name on it. Damn, you're not in the way. Threaten us. Wait for me, God of Donuts. Almost you're well rounded. Look like a donut. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't expecting that reference. Yeah, I just uh, watched just... all of them. So. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Considering we've never hit our maximum before, that doesn't really matter yet. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. So she'll probably be in this in the dorm area somewhere now. Even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. At least this proves I'm not an idiot. Hmm. I wonder where Hina might be. There's literally two places it could be. My first guess is here. You guys, no wonder she's not here. Where is she then? Laundry room. Yep. The only places I think I've ever seen her down here, ignoring just right here in the open, is the laundry room in there. I don't. Th I think I've run into. I think I've run into her outside the warehouse, but I don't think I've seen her in the warehouse itself. A person's ability is measured by the power they display at the point where pressure is applied. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous baseball player Kenji Jijima. Yeah, totally. I think what he means is that you only really see how strong a person is when they're under pressure. I wonder how strong I can really be. Should I talk to Hina? Oh yeah. You got it. Oh, but, uh, don't stare, okay? I don't actually have a swimsuit, just a shirt, and when it gets wet, it's kinda embarrassing. That's hot. Although I wasn't embarrassed before, but now I kinda am. I wonder how come. I went swimming with Hina, who seems kind of embarrassed. Hina I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? All right, I want you to do me a favor and go down a few pages. One more. And now scroll... Hold on. Yeah, scroll through and tell me which one you think she likes. Keep scrolling. Please? Yes. Okay. I was really concerned. <laughs> The hand bra is loved by nobody, but liked by Genocider Jack and Junko. A bra designed to slip of your hands. It's the slogan, raise your hands, raise your spirits. It's, you can literally put your hands inside the bra? Uh, yes, I think so. A competitive swimsuit for women. Its design concept is to become one with water, and it claims to increase swimming speed by 10%. Yeah, uh, hey, you mentioned you didn't have a swimsuit, and you're embarrassed here. I'll fix that for you. And she will still miraculously not have a swimsuit. Wait, what? I can keep this, right? Right? <sighs> Yay, ultra stoked! Seeing Hina so pleased something I gave her makes me happy. Why do these washing machines kind of look like camera lenses? I can see that, yeah. Uh, so hungry. Please. Makoto, help me. I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do? I need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a stack of paper. Need food. Go get food, Why don't bitch. you just eat some more just donuts? I can't. That's my secret weapon for emergencies only. If I kept gorging on something with that many calories, I'd get fat in no time. So even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she's an athlete. Besides, I don't want anything sugary right now. I want a salty snack. E. Like potato chips? I got chips? a salty drink for you right here. Like ramen. Like ramen. 
Okay. How is that a snack? Huh? How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a you doubt. Ah, oh, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, Hina? You're worried about calories and also. Okay. I'm a porktastic tonkatsu girl through and through! Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. Oh, you don't care about the calories at all! The key element of any tonkatsu is the ramen, is the butter and the extra fat. So you're okay with all that oil? Ah, oh, talking about it is making me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure, though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't ya? What, are you afraid? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. Are you still here? Shut up! Get out of my way! I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like! Or are you gonna stand in my way and suffer the fist-based consequences? So I understand what that guy was talking about fist before. Your ass. What? The guy who used to give her a hard time. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Then don't! If I don't do this now, when am I ever gonna get another chance? Literally any other time. <laughs> Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off with a dangerous quip towards the kitchen. When it comes to food, Hina's terrifying. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill Extraordinary Focus. Give it yourself a pat on the back. You burned it. Is that the final skill? Or is there more? Uh, I learned my lesson made my way back to my room. Girl, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. Before we move on. No, it's not. Um, how many do we have? There's one more. Five. Okay. Wait, wait, what, what? Huh? We just we just got extraordinary focus from her, right? Yes. Okay, I'm confused. Okay. It says we're not maxed out. There's no, no I know, but on this guide here, it says the fifth event you get a point increase, and then the sixth event you get the skills. So we may have to do two more. Oh no, we've this this was the fourth event. This one's just her base page. So there's okay, yeah. four. Okay. That's yeah, fine. Right. Yeah. I can't help it. I need sleep. My time wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped on my bed, I feel like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say. We just don't own pajamas, do we? I was no, restless. No, we sleep in a hoodie that has a zipper on the hood for some reason. I mean, to be fair, if I could order to zip up my hood all the way up so I was just like, it was just like a mask, I absolutely would. Even better if there were no eye hole things. <laughs> At some point I found myself wandering through a strange dream where Kyoko was straddling me. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under understand. That voice. It's so familiar. It's your voice. I uh, it's... Understand. It's me. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? This is all for hope. And that's why... I have to stay. I have to stay here. <laughs> My dream just now. What? So strange. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
Kyoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? Okay. Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing life for these unchanging, unending happy days, days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No more abnormalities as far as the eyes can see. Life without the tiniest speck more abnormality. I consider that pretty damn abnormal. Dong bing bong. Mind you, uh, it's no wonder Kyoko was willing to give up her key since she has the master key so she can go anywhere she wants, including her bedroom. Hmm. I mean, we don't know if it's a master key. We didn't know where it went to. Good yeah, but morning, it's... Everyone. it doesn't matter. I'm gonna call it the master key until I prove it otherwise. Nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Until I'm proven otherwise, I make an assumption. Yeah. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Not a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either, it was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? Check your thing. I was so desperate to recall it, I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them in from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. Not the dream, but the actual reality of it. Came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. Oh, there's the dream. And I heard a voice I didn't really understand, and then... We're recalling what happened 30 seconds ago. All of a sudden, I was awake. There was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I froth them off, but I don't actually remember. I feel like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again the next thing I remember. Kyoko was there, but when would she, what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? I opened the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty, there's nothing inside. Wait, nothing's inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it, I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who is that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell was going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head out to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. Sure as the sky's blue. Um where? Hey, Hina. Um You really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? You just gave me a swimsuit, made some weird like faces, and then went off to your room, and I hadn't heard of you since. Like I thought we were gonna meet up and fuck. Worried? I mean Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to go get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know... <laughs> murdered. I mean, not that anyone would actually do that. Not that 
that it actually happened, I mean. Nobody here would want to, you know. Yeah, murder. I mean, no one dies in Danganronpa. Ever. So, anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel so good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why'd you come to get me? Did something happen? Uh, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, and then they can tell you about it. So is everyone waiting somewhere else That's or something? Right. Oh, yeah. We all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? I lost a rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up. I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? In the entire night? They're playing volleyball, obviously. Or I guess basketball, since I was down. Yeah. Feels weird doing things on the first floor again. The only time we ever go to the gym nowadays is to see something bad happen. Ah, there he is! Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, or even your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. You made a gay up all night while you heal up like a baby in your bed. Just like Kina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko, and then I noticed they'd formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what some that something was, what the before I could catch myself, I cried out. Spread in front of them was the remains of Monokuma. Oh. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma. Hey, Tina, what's up? Yeah, you are uh, right. looking. Yeah. Okay, really? She's not <laughs> Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but. What is this? What are you guys doing? Level of intelligence, I guess? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like ya. Mm. Byakuya found this little fellow laying around, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try to talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here just like that. Just like normal, however. When I found him, he was more of the regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? I waited there until midnight officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as they so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. <laughs> you like smack your stroke of genius? I can't to find out what made Monokuma kick. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down... And maybe something happened to this puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> yeah. They were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. Could it be? Or maybe they got sick or something. Hey, hey, no, you don't say that. I was sick last night. That makes me look the mastermind. Don't do that. But Monokuma said his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not Mastermind? A pre-recorded message? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer in place as necessary. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. Hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. I just found something. What is it? 
I, it's it's a I, bomb, my guy. It's it's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma Rob, I'm sure. I mean we've seen one blow up already. What? What? The bomb? That's super That's bad. super bad! We need to get rid of it! Gabriel! I will cut you! <laughs> Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. Motion sensor? For serious, I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together! You're a man, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh... You are so not fine. You're all. <laughs> oh, I probably should mention the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on, the century's just got started. Don't call me the don't call the race already. Whatever. Curry up and put your bomb down. Hanging on quick. You're not gonna do anyone any good. That's why you toss it at the stage. Oh, what you do is you toss it at the front door and hope it blows up. Uh, um, oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Here, put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were cool to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened in the Mastermind they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? When I thought about it, I couldn't help but think back to the night before. To me, that looks like a dude, but that might just be, you know, padding on the shirt or something, just to keep it flat. Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Uh, hey, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't huss. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Go that young, you know. What are you? Some kind of brain dead farm animal. Sorry. We were saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? And we've decided to continue our offensive it's assault. Clear now. To try and cover the mastermind's true identity, we're gonna break into the headmaster's room. Next really? Time. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. What the heck? Yorko! Live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens! You can be chicken number six! Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll it's go with you. Clear. Okay, then. We're going to break in the headmaster's room. Everyone comes down. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow you anywhere, master. Kill the egg. So we're we not gonna have a conversation with anyone about the fact that the knife's gone, I was attacked, um, someone was able to get into my room during the middle of the night, I had been very sick, and also, you know, some shittery's going on. All this happened at the same time as the mastermind. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this, I'm a man and I can do this! I've got the will of the entire universe on my side! We each found our determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. But the problem was, the fourth floor was blocked. Nah. That'd be too convenient. Actually, Max, you're the one to show such bravery. Just make sure you don't get an X-way. 
Okay. Sakura's gonna be watching over us. So we're definitely gonna find something to help us bring this to an end. Yeah, we're like halfway into the game according to the game itself, so... Um... I mean, the Headmaster's room is right there. Oh, okay. Got it. Hmm. We finally reached the climax. Uh. Yeah, okay. So let's hurry up and finish it before the mastermind catches us all. Let's go. This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Is everyone ready? Hmm. Rattle, rattle. It's locked as expected. So what are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious we're gonna tear this door off its hinges? Wait, but the rules say... We've seen the Mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But like Makoto said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were get getting in there, so or while we were in there, words. then we'll just have to finish your business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, what? but... We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. Yo, beautiful! I mean... For serious? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually... A pickaxe. Hmm. Then we need something sturdier of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? Thing oh, in the tool shed. So then. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Well then, Toko, what time is it? You well, when we left the gym, it was just before nine o'clock. You it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back by nine o one. That's straight up unreasonable. By myself? Naturally. Surely, you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Unacceptable! <laughs> You're the lemon, got it? Yeah. With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. For serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Hey. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Um. Maybe, but I'm super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubber bust. No, uh, I'm totally flabber bag. Flabber staff. Fab sauce? <sighs> Gross, where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Jack, where'd you come from? Hello, hello, it's the wondrous murderous fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. She doesn't have a pickaxe. <laughs> come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping in beside the pickaxe. <laughs> seeping in beside of master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. Here comes the bloody nose! Seriously though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they Not switch. Possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on! I see. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe! <laughs> Alright, we've solved one mystery, that means there's just one more mystery left! 
one more mystery? Yep, now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X! Now, what are you talking about? Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life! In fact, I found one in the garden! What? What did you find? <laughs> corpse! Did you hear me? I said corpse! A corpse? That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? What, what did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. On. We're going to the garden. Uh, okay. That explains why she turned into Genocider Jack. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Has it been three days? Oh, uh, this is the third day. No, like, it has only been two days. We hung... This is the no, third right, day. The, the, yeah, this is the third day. So it has not been three days. Okay, this is lame. Mm. There was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the? That's what Are they really dead? For sure, but... Who is it? I mean, there's only two people we know of. Possibly. Eh, yeah, probably. Three? Three. There's only three people it could be. Kyoko, Ultimate Despair, and Mastermind. Just to make things clear. Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. Whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. There's a corpse hanging out here! No way! Aren't they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever ca so careful. There's no telling what you might find. I have to check the body before anything else is dead. <laughs> We need to find out who this actually is, but there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that, and the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know... ...is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How do they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, all signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven in their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. How? I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. What? How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. What we saw when we were asleep last night was nothing of the sort, so a lot of questions there. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be... <laughs> okay, then. Yes. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. But by the time he'd call it, it was already too late. Toko's hands shut out were towards the mask. In the next instant, there was a blinding light and a deafening roar. That's not good. Toko. The body blew up. It blew up, 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 it blew up! My vision started to dark and I prepared to pass out. But then. Hurry out, put up the fire! As my consciousness attempted to flow away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something on into my hand. It was a bucket of water. 
come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Swoosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. Die down, leaving behind only an unpleasant smell of burning. Where do you get a bucket of water? I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? What, what did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... What? It's burnt to a crisp! That's beyond well done, man! Don't compare it to s uh, That's yours. Don't compare it to a steak! I'll never be able to eat steak again! But now the body's charred. I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? What? Huh? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who um... it must be. Uh, there's only one person missing. Uh, um... It's Kyoko. Kyoko? Then that dead body. Is Kyoko? No, that can't be. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, but I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. The Mastermind. What? What? The Mastermind? Come on, there's no way. The Mastermind got charred boiled. Get serious. <laughs> I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have reason to believe it may be true. The Mastermind being dead would explain the other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly be moving around if Master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? He said the Mastermind's some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then could that mean the Mastermind isn't the Headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate huh? despair? Mikuri Kisaba, 13th student, Hope's what? Peak. What are you told talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Yukuro Ikusaba, the 16th, 16th student, student lying hidden somewhere, somewhere in the school. The one they call the, one they call the ultimate despair. despair. Watch out for her. <laughs> it's similar like Kyoko thinks Mikuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. I see. There's another student here, and it's a female that would match the body's characteristics. Oh, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl Mukuru, M Mukuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? <laughs> None of this makes any sense, just suddenly show up and then die? I think we better take a close look at the body. Just blow us up again. Also, Toko has been knocked out on the other side of the room this entire time. No one cares. There may be some clue to help us figure out who exactly who it is. I know. Hey, wait! What? Um... Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? Oh yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. I'm confused. Yeah, um, we're not getting like a like merged the personality through a head trauma, right? Oh uh, no. <laughs> oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. Uh, what just happened? My back here. Stop talking. You to. You declare for the whole world to hear you that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide <laughs> you exhale. That's enough for me to live. What the heck? That isn't. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. 
um, starting with you because you deserve it. Actually, you know what, guys? Next time on Let's Wait Dong on Rumpa, we'll start the investigation. We gonna figure out there's who this a... dead bitch is. So there's a corpse. There's one of three people it could probably be if this isn't just a huge red herring to fuck with us. And I don't know how this trial is gonna go because it obviously was none of, uh, or probably wasn't one, any of us. Mm. This is gonna be weird. This is completely different. Alright guys, see you next time.